Now, Her Excellency Ms. Giorgia Meloni, President of the Council of Ministers of Italy. Your Excellency, you have the floor. Dear colleagues, dear guests, this summit, this summit for which I thank the leadership of the United Arab Emirates is a key moment in our efforts to contain global temperature rise to within 1.5 Celsius. We have reached the first global stock take, and while there are reasons to be optimistic, the goal remains far off. COP28 must be a turning point. We are called upon to set a clear direction and enact concrete actions, reasonable but concrete, such as tripling the world's renewable energy generation capacity by 2030 and doubling the global rate of annual energy efficiency improvements, as also outlined by the Presidency. Italy is doing its part in the, the, car the carbonization process, and it does it in a pragmatic way. That means with a technology-neutral approach, free from unnecessary radicalism. My idea is that if we want to be effective if we want environmental sustainability that does not compromise the economic and social sphere, what we must pursue is an ecological transition and not an ideological one. We are gradually replacing coal-fired power generation with renewables. We have adopted a new energy and climate plan, and we are investing resources and attention on biofuels so much so that we are among the founders of the Global Biofuels Alliance. In the European context, we have charted a path to carbon neutrality by 2050 and to reduce emissions by at least 55% by 2030. But we are also committed to ensuring through the EU Fit for 55 program a multi-sectoral approach that strengthens labor markets and mitigates the impact on our citizens. And this is an, es an essential point, because if we think that the green transition can result in unbearable costs, particularly for the most vulnerable, we condemn it to failure. Italy intends to direct an extremely significant share of the Italian Climate Fund, whose overall endowment is 4 billion euro to the African continent. Not, however, through a charitable approach, because Africa does not need charity. It needs to be put in the condition to compete on an equal footing in order to grow and prosper thanks to the multitude of resources that the continent possesses. A cooperation between equals rejecting paternalistic and predatory approaches. Energy is one of the cornerstones of the Matei Plan for Africa, the cooperation and development plan on which Italy is working with great determination to build mutually beneficial partnerships and support the energy security uh, of Africa and Mediterranean nation. And we are also in this way working towards becoming a strategic hub for clean energy by developing, developing the necessary infrastructure and generation capacity in our homeland and in the Mediterranean. After the Rome Conference on Development and Migration, two new financial instruments were established to address the root causes of migration, combat human traffickers, guarantee the right not to emigrate. And we will continue to support the Green Climate Fund, also in the, new, in the next cycle, and as I have already announced yesterday, we will contribute with 100 million euro to the new loss and damage fund, strongly pursued by the Emirates Presidency. And all this priority will also be 
at the heart of Italy's G7 presidency in 2024. I want to thank, in conclusion, the Emirati Chair, Sultan al Jaber, and express my congratulations for a COP28 of absolute success. We are all aware, colleagues, that many of the efforts that we are making today will likely produce visible results when many of us no longer have roles of responsibility. But doing it anyway, not for ourselves, but for those who come after us, defines the value of our leadership. As Warren Buffett wrote, there is someone sitting in the shade today because someone else planted a tree long ago. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency.